we continue to wear our masks when we're out in public, according to the governor's guidelines. And we're here in the parking lot where the Lancaster barnstormers usually play. And as you can see, there are several large tents behind me. These are being set up in part by Penn Medicine, Lancaster General Health, and they have confirmed that this is in fact a secondary testing site. Now the team is finalizing setup today and we have seen several Lancaster General box trucks come by and offload supplies for this site. We understand staff will be doing a run through here at this temporary facility today. Now Lancaster General Health has not announced exactly when this site will be up and running just yet. The staff is working out the logistics today and tomorrow so that the process does move as smoothly as possible for residents when they do officially open. Plus, we should note that weather is also a concern this week. Because this is an open air testing site, they don't want people to be waiting outside in bad or potentially dangerous weather. So they'll only announce the official opening of this site when they know it is fully up and ready and it is safe for people to be waiting outside. So we are still waiting official word of when this second testing site will be operational. But as you can imagine, it's in a high profile area in a centrally located spot in uh, Lancaster City. People driving down uh, uh, Prince Street have been able to see these tents over the last couple of days and were interested about what's going on. We will be talking to the CEO of Lancaster General Health a little bit later on this afternoon. So we will ask some more questions about what the goals are with this site and how uh, Lancaster General Health Penn Medicine is dealing with the coronavirus here in Lancaster County. That's the latest right now outside Clipper Magazine Stadium. I'm Meredith Jorgensen, WGAL News 8.